Hello, my name's Emma Carlo and um, I felt like making some noise. I'm sure lots of us feel like making noise at the moment. And I came across this spin drum. Uh, I have seen them called Chinese spin drums and I think they use them at New Year, but I imagine they're in other countries as well. And you just spin it in your hands and it makes quite a nice... Uh, annoying noise. Um, so I thought today we could learn how to make one of these. So I'm going to talk you through what we've got. We've got the ring from some sellotape, the cardboard ring, that's going to be our drum. Um, and other things that you need, I'm using kite paper here, but I think you could use other um, quite lightweight paper, so baking parchment or tracing paper, something like that. I've got some string, could be any string. I, I found this stripy string and I thought it was a bit more festive. Um, I've got some decorative tape just for decorating the side of the drum. And uh, you'll recognise these, hammer beads. Surely there'll be some down the back of your sofa if you haven't got any in your cupboard. Equipment wise, very simple. I've got double sided sticky tape, a pair of scissors, a braddle or any other sharp point. Um, you could use a knitting needle, but I think a braddle is a good thing. Um, oh, chopstick, that's the handle. And a needle. And I think that's all we need to do to get started. So the first thing you need to do is to make the holes in the side of the sellotape ring. Uh, so I don't need another hole, but I'm going to show you how to do it anyway. Um, I should have added pencil to the list because you want to mark where you're going to put your hole. So it needs to be central to um, the side of the drum. And if you put a dot in and then position your uh, chopstick across and that will give you the position of where you want to put the other dot. I'm going to put it there. So you can see it's directly opposite the other dot. Right, let's hope I don't hurt myself while I'm doing this on camera. So just gently turning, turning, turning and pushing at the same time. And I've got my fingers parted there so I'm not going to go through um, you should definitely ask an adult to do this for you um, because this is not, not a child activity. So I've gone through. Um, if you want to make it bigger, wiggle the bradle around and the ring should, the, the hole should get a little bit wider. Um, and I've also used scissors to just make mine a bit wider. So you make it big enough to get your chopstick through. Mm, nearly. Yeah, there we go. And then you will make one on the other side and it'll poke out of the top. And you don't, you can do it without anything on the top. So if you prefer a drum like that, you can just do it like that. Uh, but I rather like this tassel because it's a bit mad and uh, festive. So once you've done that, we're on to stage two. Obviously do another hole. I've got two that I did earlier. Um, so the next thing we're going to do is apply the paper to the drum and you want to get it really nice and tight. And I was thinking about using glue, but you have to wait for it to dry and I thought it might not stay as taut as I wanted it. So I actually got some double-sided tape and um, those are my two holes. I'm going to start one side of the hole. The slightly irritating thing is that you have to keep making your hole or at least know where it is because the tape will cover it up. Now, a sensible person would work out how much they needed. I'm quite impulsive. So you keep going round with your double-sided tape. Oops. And 
until you get to the beginning again. And then just snip it off. Right. And you peel off the backing. Do take some time sometimes. Okay, here we go. And then you get your piece of paper and rest it on top of the ring like that. And what I did is I pulled it tight and down the side so that little bit stuck so you can see it's nice and tight and then oops, turn it and do it on the opposite corners and then keep going round and just pulling it tight you can see it's nice and tight and then you just squish it down We're going to decorate the sides of the drum. I mean, I don't mind that paper look, but if you want to cover it up with tape, you can. So I'm just making sure it's all squished down. I'm not quite pleased with the way that works. Then you take your scissors and you just snip that off. So you've done one side and I'm just going to put my braddle through the holes again just to remind me where they are and get through a layer of sellotape or sticky tape. And then we're going to do exactly the same thing again. So starting at one hole. The good thing about keeping it on the roll is that it doesn't get all tangled up. So I'm just pressing it as I go around. more space there than I anticipated um, and then you again peel off the backing so you can see it's all sticky and I'm using a, a different colour on this side just so that when you spin it you get um, contrasting colours my favourite colour So again, down two sides and then turn it, <laughs> I'm just trying to work that out, 90 degrees and then pull it down the side so it's nice and tight. And then if you turn it 45 degrees and pull it down the sides. Pull it down the sides and then as the, oops, don't worry about that. As before, squish down the sides. There we are. Now, as I said, I don't mind all the wrinkles. It makes it more authentic, I think. Um, trim off the excess. Oh, there's your cat. Right on cue. Right, I'll just give him some food one moment. Look at that lovely thing. Here's some nice...
Right, now we need to find where those holes were. And actually I can see through the layer of paper where it is. So I'm going to just remake those holes. And now you put your chopstick through and hopefully you can just see where you're going and through the paper. It's quite hard, this bit might take me a moment, so look away. Oops, coming. Might go in from the other end as well, just... Right, I feel any moment. Yep, I can see it. Right, so I've pushed that through and the hole should be quite tight, so I don't think you need to glue it in place. Okay, now we're going to attach the beads to the drum, which is what makes the sound. So I've got two beads here and two pieces of string, and you need your string to be longer than you think because it's got to travel through the drum and then and be knotted both ends and have enough room to swing round and hit the drum. So, I've got my pieces of string and I'm just going to thread it onto an, a needle. This is quite a big needle. And I'm going to thread it through the drum. So I'm going from either side, I mean, um, from, yes, opposite sides. And so it's going to go through the pink side to the orange. Keep it as near to the side as you can, like that. And then I'm going to do two knots. Could have done that beforehand, actually. Oops. There's one knot. And I'm going to knot it again. You can, if you want to, have these coming out the side as well. Um, but the example I saw had just gone through there and I thought it was nice and simple. So I trimmed, trimmed that knot and then I'm going to thread a bead on. I'm going to take my needle off. So I'm going to check. Yes, so that's quite a nice length little go round. So that's where I want my knots to be. I'm going to do one knot. And then another one, just so that the bead doesn't come off the end. And then trim that. There we are. So that's one. And then we're going to do all of that again. Ah, this time I'm going to put the knot in first. So again, a double knot on this end of the string. And this time I'm going to... So the knot is on the pink side of the drum for that one. But this time it needs to be on the orange side for this one. So we've got a sort of little beater on either side. So I'm going in through there and coming out through here. Gently pull it through and thread on my bead and check that it can hit both sides. And so I'm going to put a knot there. And another one just for safety. And then just trim off that end. So in effect, your drum is the working part of the drum. Now, 
we just want to add the frills so this is a little tassel on the top so what I'm going to do is I've got a piece of paper here that I've folded in half and I'm just going to snip in fact you can fold it in half again save time so I'm snipping along the folded edge probably doing this about five millimeters apart Right, then I'm going to get a tiny bit of double-sided tape and it's just going to go round the base of the um, chopstick here where it meets the drum. I don't need all of that so I'm just going to go around like that, trim it off. Peel off the backing. Here it comes. There we are. And then I'm going to get my piece of paper and put the cut edge, well, that edge away from the folded edge and just stick it in position like that. And then I'm going to wind round and round and round to create the tassel. Try and keep the little frills pointing up while you're doing it. You can um, introduce some decorating with some tape next and I'm just using that because it's easy but you can glue paper on and things you don't have to have special decorative tape right so we've got to the end and I'm just going to secure that in place with shall I use that no. oh, yes, I'll use a bit of this um, if I can find the end, there we go. Now you can have this cut beforehand so that you don't have to fiddle around. Oop. Yeah. So just a little bit. I'm just going to stick it around there and then Wrap it round like that. So that's all secure. And then you can sort of froth it up a bit. Like that. Now the last bit we're going to do is just decorate round the edges just to cover up these rather frilly bits here. Um, now as I say you can do this with um, some, you can glue some paper on. Um, but I've got this rather nice tape which I'm going to use. So I'm going to start at the top I'm just sticking it all the way around the edge I'm using narrow tape so that I don't have to bump into the chopstick drum bits got in the way. There we go. Easy around the top. Right, so I've got to the top. I'm just going to snip that off. And just give it a little bit of a press all the way around to make sure you've got it stuck properly. And then I'm going to do the other side. Like that. 
and then we're going to be done. It's not imperative to do this bit. It just, I quite like the stripes because they're kind of quite party-ish. So you could make these for New Year, couldn't you? Or, like me, you just fancy making a bit of noise. So um, some people decorate the handle. Personally, I think because you're rubbing it between the palms, it's probably best not to. But anyway, here goes. It works. So I hope you've enjoyed that. Thank you.